This is Dr. Anthony Griffin from ABC's Extreme Makeover. And this is Doris Roberts. Reno Wilson. This is Marla Gibbs saying, watch in the cuts, honey. It is the cut. <laughs> the Regent Beverly Wilshire played host to Operation Smile a leading humanitarian and medical services organization dedicating to helping improve the health and lives of children and young adults worldwide. This year's honorees included Donald Trump Jr. and his wife Vanessa, and NBA All-Stars Norm Nixon and Elton Brand. What's up, everybody? You're now in the cuts with me, Leanisha Slater, and tonight I'm working on changing your smile at the Operation Smile event honoring the Trump family for helping to improve lives and the health of young children. I've been involved with the charity for about five years since Vanessa and I started dating. She's been involved now for four years. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I started getting my father involved um, over the last two, three years, and it's just been a you know real amazing thing for our whole family. Donald Jr. and his wife, Vanessa. I'm honored to present them with the 2006 Wallace Annenberg Public Service Award. Well, it really had all the elements that we were looking for in a charity. It was, you know, it helps someone permanently, which is, you know, the first and foremost, I guess. It's not an instant fix, here you go, and next year you're back on your own. You're taking one person and you're changing their life from this day forth. I want to introduce you to someone who's right here, Madeline and her mother, Fatima. Thank you to all the organizations, families, and people that help us and keep helping. <laughs> and the fantastic moment of handing this child back to a mother who thought her baby would never have the hope of a normal life. And to see the look on her face, it's like a rebirth. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm thrilled to be here to accept the award tonight. It's um, Abbott has given SIBO fluorine to anesthesia to all the medical missions, over $3 million, serving thousands of kids around the world. It's miraculous, no short of miraculous. And to be a partner in this, uh, in this operation, it's really an honor for us to do that. Well, it's an organization that I got involved in about 10 years ago in 1995. And uh, I finished my plastic surgery training here at USC, and my chairman asked me to go to Africa. And he said, you want to go to Africa? And I said, sure. And uh, we went to Kenya, and uh, we've been going back all over, all over the world for the last 10 years. Every surgery costs $250, and 90, about almost 90% of the money goes actually to the mission to the kids. So people out there can really help just by, uh, by donating you know, $250 or whatever they can afford, and it, it really goes a long way. You guys thought you had gotten rid of us, but we're back. And this time we're here to hit you up for a little something. I think the first year we held something, I, I guess Vanessa and I actually hosted it then. This was three years ago. I think that night we raised $250,000. This year we hosted the event again, you know, three years later, and raised, I think, $3.2 million in one night. And that's all net to the charity. So, you know, divide that by seven fifty, and you're helping a lot of kids. That looks like two, at least. Ten? Ten for $7,500. Thank you very much. The Lily Claire Foundation was having a ceremony across town at the Beverly Hilton, and this year's MC was your friend and mine, my man Matthew Perry. The Lily Claire Foundation helps to ease the challenges that families face by providing a unique and comprehensive blend of support services through the Lily Claire UCLA Family Resource Center. <laughs> We're in Beverly Hills at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the charity event for the Lily Claire Foundation, hosted by Matthew Perry. What inspired you to get involved with the Lily Claire Foundation? Well, I'll tell you. It's uh, Leslie Resnick, who was the uh, who was the cast director for Friends, right. the first person who hired me. She had uh, this disease uh, strike her family in a very tragic manner, and she asked me to. Uh, Post the event nine years ago, and I said yes, and now it's nine years later, and I love it, so I just keep doing it. Well, we've been associated with the Lily Claire Foundation for five, six, at least yeah, six, I years five or six years now. Uh, we met uh, the Resnick family, who pretty much uh, started the whole foundation, and I have met Matthew Perry around the same time that things just came together. And Gretchen and I have believed, and I think a lot of right minded people, which I am usually not one of. If you're successful in show business, that almost always equals you get a lot of money for doing almost no work. And you become morally obligated to find an appropriate place to give some of that back. You know, it's your job to find out who gets the money, who needs it most, where does it go. 
And when we checked in, you know, with all the statistics that we could find and what we brought us some warmth to our hearts, it was the Lily Claire Foundation. How long, how long did it take you to prepare? Um, well, you know, um, we, uh, to about about a week, you know, to make sure we get the menus right. So it's truffle macaroni and cheese, right? Oh my god, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> what else is on the menu for tonight? Uh, so we got uh, so we're honoring Jermaine Dupri tonight. So it's all about southern food, right? So we're gonna make a black eyed risotto, a roasted chicken, some really good American collard greens, and a little bit of truffle juice. It's nice and fancy. And then we're also uh, we're serving a, uh, a pecan and caramel tart with a sweet tea and bourbon caramel. And uh, it's gonna be really really nice tonight. So it's like really good American food, honoring one of the great you know producers out of the south. I'm really good. Congratulations. And what number award is this? Uh, number, I don't know. Um, as a producer, um, as a producer, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Uh, I've been I've been getting them for a minute, but uh, this one probably is gonna mean the most to me because it's kind of like it's outside of anything that I ever dreamed of getting. Um, and and you know, um, it touches my heart, and I think it's music of the music of the heart award. So it's definitely a different award for me. So I'm definitely gonna remember this. This time, right here. You know, to a certain degree, you're still in the spotlight, but I'm not the one that has to get up and make this speech. So it's easier for me to, and I think he's so deserving of it. His music has touched so many lives, and will continue to. And I think it's nice for them too to honor him. Well, French author Jules Verne is credited alongside with H.G. Wells as being one of the founding fathers of sci-fi writing. So it's no wonder then that Hollywood would have a film festival in his honor. Hi, this is Anna Griffin for In The Cuts, and tonight we're at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles to celebrate the Jules Verne Adventure Film Festival. Tonight's honorees include Harrison Ford, George Lucas, Dame Jane Goodall, and James Cameron. So stay tuned. I've never really hosted before. You know, I'm, I'm just going to be myself. I'm not reading it off boards or anything like that. I'm just going to say what comes into my head and how I feel. So. You know, hang on to your hats. I don't know what I'm going to say. I've got three little grandchildren, and when I think of how we farmed the planet since I was their age, I feel this shame and anger. And so many young people have lost hope, and they feel that we've compromised their future, and there's nothing they can do about it. We have compromised their future, but there is something we can do about it. I'm more of an education person, so my my focus is on education and and uh, trying to improve the quality of education and the learning experience, um, which is a way of conservation because it all ends up there. Everybody knows a lot of the things that they can do to make it a cleaner world, it's just that each person individually has to make a determination that they're going to do it. Well, I've always uh, uh, been engaged by nature. I've always been moved by nature. I've uh, found uh, spiritual solace in nature. What we have to do is create a, a, a global conservation ethic that everybody can uh, can support what we haven't got is the political will to do to do something about it and that's got to become our citizen responsibility to get the kind of leadership all of our uh, our conservation goals are never going to be met if we don't really focus on the issue of energy because we're just really running rampant with with the, with the energy problem right now so we need to step back and look at the big problem and, and deal with global climate change right now which goes straight back to energy policy now are you supportive of conservation and the environment uh, of course if we are a responsible member of this planet we should be doing everything to conserve it not rip it apart um, and we know what's going on you know right now and and uh, it's a sorry record right now and, and I, I'm it, it's really uh, terrible so I, if we can bring an awareness anyway about conservation it's a good thing every group is choosing projects to make the world a better place one project for people one for animals and one for the environment that we all share this is hope hundreds and thousands of young people around the world can break through and make this a better place yeah all right now that's star power all right you had everybody there i love it i want to go to that next year yeah i want to go next you want to go next year we're gonna go yeah. we're going we're going to we're it next there. year i love action adventure movies man i can't get enough of them you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right everybody well that's our show i'm your big man bb freeman and i'm amy weber and you've been watching in, in the, the cuts. cuts be sure to join us again next week you better come back here Get over here. He'll beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Billy D. Williams, and I'm watching In the Cuts.